Okay, for this video, we're going to be adding info windows. Um, so we have our markers already. Now we will um, be making info windows. So uh, go to map, um, import info window, down here in marker, instead of returning just a marker. We're going to be returning a info window inside the marker. But remember, we have is open. So when this is open, when the marker is clicked, we'll set this to true. We'll show the marker. So marker dot is open. And we'll just render um, okay. Let's see. Well, now we have to add um, when the marker is clicked, um, we have to set the marker dot open is true. So come over here. We'll do handle marker click. marker um, then we'll set marker dot is open equals true then we will do this dot set state markers object dot assign this dot state dot markers then marker so it's just basically copying marker inside the markers um, and it'll just do a copy um, if you want to read more about it um, just google it read uh, the mdn mnd on it so um and let's see what happens or oh, wait one sec we have to pass this down to map so handle marker click this up handle marker click come back to map on click props dot and well actually we need to pass the marker to it so the whole marker object come back here Nothing happens. Uh, let's see any console errors. React um, markers. Oops. Hmm. Oh, there we go. We just had a refresh. So we get hello. But as you see, we can open it once we close it. And there can be multiple info windows open, which just looks ugly. So we'll need a handle um, on close. And once a marker is opened, it needs to close any other markers. So we'll close all the other markers first. So close all markers. Um, const markers equals this dot state dot markers. And for each marker, we're just gonna um, set the is open to false. Then return the marker. Then this dot set state markers assign this dot state dot markers markers 
then we'll call this on each uh, marker click. So this dot close all markers. We'll open that one. We'll open that one. No. Fresh. Uh oh. This dot say dot. Not a function. Oh. We need a map over it. There we go. And then see it closes. But now if we close it and open it. Well, it does close all again, but we can't. Huh. All right, then. Never mind. Okay, so that seems to work fine. Um, now let's uh, add some information into um, each marker. We're just going to do an image and the title. So you can add more information that you want to and style it. I'm not going to go in that depth uh, for this walkthrough. So in here on handle marker click, what we need to do is we need to call uh, square API dot get venue details. Uh, well, you know what we need to do? We need to associate um, the marker with the venue. So down here, there's no association between the two. So we need to add an ID equals venue dot ID. And then we can just do marker dot ID. The promise. We'll console log, see what happens. And there we go, we get a response. We get a lot of good information here, but we're just gonna take best photo. Um we're going to have to do prefix, then a size, so 200, x 200, uh, then a suffix. So we're going to use a string literal for that. Go back to our map. Is open. Well, actually, um, we will need to assign the details from this request into the venue. Um, associated with the marker ID. So let's do some testing equals uh, const venue equals um, this dot state dot venues dot find um, mark venue venue dot ID equals marker dot ID. Log that, see what we get. And there we go. So we get the details for the venue associated with the marker. So we'll come back here. We don't need that no more. So we can just... Um, <clears throat> Let's see what we could do. Um, um, we need to assign the data. So, um, cost new venue equals object dot assign. Um, res dot response dot venue then venue so we're just basically going to join these two objects together uh, copy them update them um, we'll console log the new venue and there we go so it's copied over um, and then we could do this dot set state 
venues object dot assign this dot state dot venues new venue we're going to refresh make sure it's working click it come over to react our venues and we'll just search for one with more information and no that's not it Hmm. Res response. Okay, there we go. Let's work now. So as you've seen, we just clicked marker and then it just updated that. So we'll come down here and get the best photo. Um, so we will do um, best photo prefix or size and then the suffix. So um, we'll come down here. We'll make this. We'll return this venue info equals um, props dot venues dot find venue venue dot id equals marker dot id. Okay. Uh, they will come down here. Um, we'll check if venue dot has best photo. We'll render the name in the paragraph. So venue name. Um, we'll make a empty place because it needs one child component. So we'll use react fragment instead of just a, a div. Oh, that's not a function. Um, image source equals venue info dot best photo dot suffix or prefix. And then the size we're just going to do 200 by 200 then the prefix the suffix venue info dot best photo dot suffix um Uh -oh. We'll click it and there we go. We get our photo. And our name. Okay. So that's all for that. Um what else? I think that will be it for this um, video. Okay, we'll see you in the next and we'll do um, a list box or sidebar. See you then.